All right, guys, day two on the Toyota. Uh, hey. Got the new engine ready to drop in there. Got all the accessories swapped over, uh, new gaskets. I did pull the spark plugs, sprayed some oil down there, and I uh, turned it over by hand a few times just because this thing's been sitting. But other than that, we're going to hope for the best. Uh, I'm not replacing the clutch. I'm not going to do a tune-up. I'm not even going to do an oil change until it's in there and running and we know it is actually a good engine. Uh, pile the parts off the old one because I am a hoarder. It's all good stuff. And a pile of junk parts needs hauled out of here. But that's where we're at with it. I'm going to pull the uh, engine mounts just to make it easier to get in there. And uh, we're going to start slamming this thing together. And hopefully it'll make some noise for the first time in 20 some years. So wish me luck. All right, guys, got it in there. Uh, got engine mounts in. I did run into one little problem that I've ran into before on these Toyotas. Uh, this transmission must be a little older than the truck. So here is the uh, old mount on the frame. There's the mount that bolts to the uh, transmission and as you can see it's a couple inches off but I uh, this just on bolts and I have a shorter mount over at my other building so we're gonna leave that alone for now and uh, I'll grab one of those mounts tomorrow but tonight we're just gonna focus on getting this thing hooked up and fired up All right, guys, I think I got pretty much all the essentials hooked up. And uh, not going to hook up radiator, exhaust, all that stuff until we know we're good to go. So, going to spray some go juice down there. And uh, see if this one will fire up, make some noise for the first time in 20 years. So, let's see what happens. came to life so we'll keep trying see what happens if we can just leave that in there make a little explosion What's up, big guy? Ready to ride? Get in there. I think it's starting to suck up some two decade old fuel from the tank. But let's see if we can make it run on it.
Hi right, guys, it's been a few days. I've been fighting all kinds of little issues on this thing, but uh, I, for the most part, I think we got them all figured out. Still running off a gas tank, a gas can, uh, but I replaced all the lines back to the tank. They were all clogged up. So hopefully that's good to go when the time comes. Uh, the main issue, oil light was coming on in the dash. Uh, hey, this engine was pretty crunchy from sitting. I thought maybe uh, bearings went out or rusted up or seized to the crank or something. But uh, hey, I also know these engines are kind of notorious, kind of hard to get them to prime if they've been rebuilt or sitting for a long time. So tore the front of this engine off, uh, replaced the oil pump, packed it full of grease while it was apart, and uh, changed the oil, put some good oil in it, some heavier oil. And so far the light's staying off, so that's a plus. But the only thing we didn't swap off the old engine was the oil pan. And it's got a hole in it, of course. So we have a good one on that old engine. And uh, it'd be nice to throw this old trainee on there now that I know the, the one on this engine doesn't line up with that cross member. So it's a little bit of a pain, but I'd rather spend the hour now, pull this engine back out. Uh, we'll swap that oil pan, swap the transmission, and it'll make life a little easier uh, down the road. So that's the plan. Okay, so there it is. Getting way gooder at that. But like I said, rob this oil pan. Uh, there's the original transmission out of the truck. I'm gonna swap that out. So we have to screw with that cross member. Uh, put them on there. That thing will be ready to drop back in, hopefully for the last time. And uh, I could do that and probably have it back in there in the hour. But I could also hop in one of these stupid little trucks and uh, drive over to Buddy's Garage, help a bunch of them guys work on their cool stuff. So I think you know which one I'm gonna do.
All right guys, so we're back in the garage and uh, hey, this video is going to be kind of all over the place, but it is what it is. I don't get paid for this. So back in the Toyota, uh, I still have to swap the oil pan, swap transmissions and uh, hopefully get it dropped back in the truck and have this thing running in no time. Okay, so here's the route with this junker. Got the uh, transmission off, got the oil pan ripped off. That's kind of where things got scary. Found all this junk laying in the bottom. A little rubber plug of some kind. Got some nylon washers. Not sure where those came from. This chunk here, uh, I do know where that came from. That is part of the uh, timing chain guide. So the fun continues with this engine, kind of having my doubts about it, but we're going to slam it together and see what happens. And uh, if it proves to be a good engine, I guess I'll plan on doing a uh, timing chain and some guides on it. But before we do that, I'm going to uh, got the port power and just going to push this course port back into shape a little bit. Be easier now while the engine's out. And I, uh, so do that, put the transmission, oil pan all back on, and uh, get this thing back in and see what happens. Okay guys, so here's what we got. Engine, transmission back together. Got this core support pushed out pretty decent. Before this grill, uh, these clips, uh, none of them was even touching. So got that straight, it's in the ballpark. We can do some tweaking once we put it all together if we have to, but you ready to throw this engine in for the last time because if there's any major issues after this 
it's coming out and it's not going back in. Kind of had my fill with that engine, but here we go. All right, so got the engine in. Everything for the most part is hooked up. It fires up with no super scary noises. Needs a tune-up super bad, but my standards are pretty low at this point. So if I can get it pulled out of the garage so I can scrub the floor and back in the garage, I'm gonna call it a success and uh, we'll keep moving along on it. So how about that? First time this thing's moved under its own power in 20 years. Made it in and out of the shop. So guess I'll keep working on it. It's not going to the scrapyard yet, but I uh, keep you guys up to speed. I got a uh, 200 bucks in the truck. One fifty for the engine. Got fifty bucks in gaskets and fluids so far. So we're at four hundred bucks on this thing. And I'm gonna cut the converter off because I don't need it. And we got couple of cores and a little bit of scrap to haul in hoping we'll get 50 bucks back out of that and uh be back down to 350 on this thing but that's it for this time we got it running so uh next gonna start on the body a little bit and hopefully get some wheels and tires figured out and get this thing lowered so check it out then